standard. And uh, you know, I think you're seeing a lot of grit from this from this class. You know, the guys the guys that really were getting beat up, you know, in 2016 are uh, kind of you know making a way back now. So I say that we've persevered through a lot. Would you pass along to some of the younger players about the Civil War rivalry that might not know about the rivalry, yeah. and then obviously the Beavers are coming in with all being eligible in the line. You know, I think that it's you know no matter no matter what we're ranked or what or what Oregon State's ranked, it's always going to be a really tough game. And I've kind of you know it's always a really kind of gritty game, rainy, cold weather conditions. Uh, we usually end up running the ball both teams. Uh, you know, and it's it comes down to a lot of stuff. You know, there's a lot of a lot of it means a lot to this community. It means a lot to this program. But obviously, it means a lot to Oregon State as well. And uh, the same thing with the alumni. You know what I mean? When we lost to Oregon State, uh, in whatever year, 2016, or whatever, that, I felt a lot you know pressure from the alumni, like I let them down. So, and you know, I don't I don't know if I did let them down or whatsoever, but we we feel that you know this game means a lot to this program. So. Jim, can you explain to us who don't watch the film every week and follow the ball and not the offensive line why Panay is so good, why he's not looking uh, He does, uh, he finishes his finish, I guess, like every single play, no matter what, if he messes up or something, he always gets somebody on the ground. Uh, he's always doing a little bit extra no matter what, what his scheme is or what, what his assignment is. Um, and basically the way he moves, I feel like, you know, he's what, 330, 340 pounds, 340 pounds, he blocks like a tight end in space. Uh, you know, if you're if you know if you're a corner or something, you should definitely fear him, especially in screens, because he's willing to come. And you know, he does he does a lot of stuff. I've never seen a guy like his size be able to move in space like that. So it's really impressive. And obviously, just the way he the way he uh, transforms on game day is pretty special. You know, if you talk to him now, he's uh, he's likes to joke around a lot and uh, have fun. And but when it's game day, he's kind of our voice of the team, and he really gets the rest of the guys amped up. So yeah. CJ Verdell's just a little bit short of becoming back to back thousand yard rusher. What can you say about his season that he's had? What makes him special? For him? Uh, you know, I think a lot of the stuff that he doesn't get credit for is his pass protection. I think he uh, is really able to go downhill and block. You know, he's big defensive lineman, especially in this conference. We're getting these linebackers that are uh, 250. To, I mean, Arizona State had what 250 pound linebackers, and uh, a lot of the, a couple of times CJ came down and really stuffed them. And that's not really um, something that this conference has really come to accustomed with is running backs being able to block big guys like that. Because the reason they're so big, they get their linebackers are so big so they can get a mismatch on the running back and I feel like that really um, is really cool to see especially CJ just really uh, come downhill and get the get the job done so how much did he take that to heart in the just go back to last year's mm -hmm. war yeah obviously it was his block not the point of playing they overloaded the left side you were there